Hump Day lives. is actually just All autobiographical lives. in every way. Um, if it were autobiographical, it would have been NC-17. Well, whose cock did you have to blurt out? Yeah. When you blurt out a cock, it's when it's in your mouth, <laughs> and then you have something to say to someone, and you're like, boom. What's up, boys and girls? Um, today might be my favorite day. Why? Because it's hump day. And these guys right here are gonna make us turn Shark Tank into the Bone In Motel. Bone In Motel? I feel you about saw that. the movie. Of course they saw the movie. Good reference. Thank it's not a given good call that someone who's interviewing has actually seen the film. All right, so then I get bonus points and you can't make fun of me anymore. You're already in the circle of trust here. This is huge. Joshua and Mark are the, well, you guys made it, you, did, you wrote the, it, you we're started the stars. it. I'm Ben. I'm Andrew. We're old friends from college, but we've kind of gone down different roads. Ben is Mr. Motorcycle Adventuring Man. I've been living in Santa Cristobal de las Casas down in Chiapas, Alabama. Where? I have a really nice house and wife and stuff. We were at a party and we heard about Hope Fest. This awesome amateur porn festival. Ah. You have to do something unique. Ah. Two straight dudes. <laughs> beyond gay. It's beyond gay. Hump Fest. Mm -hmm. Hump Fest is a real thing. It oh. is. You make these porn tapes at home by yourself, you show them at the festival, and at the end of the day, everybody burns the tapes. So it's like 24 hours of you, and that version of you exists, and then it's over. It started out as a pretty uh, exclusive group, I think. And now, evidently, it's, it's huge. huge. Like, suburban families all over Seattle making their own home porn films. You had to have made one to actually able to be in there and watch. That's your admission yeah, fee. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> The funny thing was, we were drunk when we first came up with the idea, and then it evolved into this weird straight guy macho thing. Well, I got asked today in an interview if um, we'd watched any gay porn to prepare. I got asked. Wait, I've watched all the, the gay porn for you guys. What did you say? Obviously, I've never watched it or anything, so, like, you know, I never got it. You're pretty solidly not gay. Yeah, I think the same thing about you, too. Do you want to tell her what you got me for my birthday? I did get Josh a really nice present. The Big Book of Penises. Just I've sort of seen kind of that! It's and there was a, I think it's the Big Penis Book. And there, well, there was a lot of discussion about, is it, is it big penises in a book, or is the book big? It was, big a, it was no pun intended, a dangling oh. modifier. Whether big was was. <laughs> How can you not intend that? No, exactly, my friend. Yeah, this big referred to the penis. Big referred to the book. And there are a lot of different opinions, but most importantly, none of the girls wanted to look at it. And every time it got into a guy's lap, they were like. <laughs> they were like, no way, no way, that's fake. And that's I don't want to totally like blow fake. the book, but on the back page. You don't want to blow the book, really. <laughs> <laughs> You, you kind of set yourself up for that one. <laughs> anyway, just, just don't fuck you guys. There is nothing that I want to do less yeah. than what we're talking about doing. Ready? Ready? Five, four, four three, two, two, one. Yeah, that was awful. Dude, that was awful. Um, this is going to be hard. Yeah, that puts a little wrench in the works, doesn't it? You want to arm wrestle? Yes. Okay. Ready? Ooh. Pardon me. This, could, this, this is going end, down. This could end poorly. <laughs> He's going to hurt me a little bit. I was thinking the other way around, honestly. Wait, what are you doing with this? Wait, this is, no, this no, no, is no. going to be this your... Is, this is like... Really? That's the loser's corner. Wait, okay. Oh. Really? Yeah. Really? This is going down like that. Because somebody's going in. This is the deal. Whoever... What's the deal? Whoever wins... What's the deal, darling? Whoever wins gets to clean it up. Yay! With their tongue. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> See, this is a really a no win for me. This smells like a downtown Detroit YMCA yeah. here right now. Ask Mark about the time he was in the downtown Detroit YMCA. Hey, He's going after hey, me about that. I don't want to talk about it. All right, you ready? Uh, hey, while we're doing this, is somebody going to judge this? You're going to talk to me about Bone and Joshua over here. Yeah. All right. Okay. And how you guys decided who was going to be on top. Okay. That's how we're discussing. Okay. Go. Mm -hmm. On three. Mm -hmm. One, One two, two, three. Three. Oh, he's a featherweight. Oh, come on. Oh, oh he's afraid on. to clean it up. That's what oh, it is. Oh, oh, he doesn't want to. Just, do it. Yeah. just yeah. do it. You want me to win so just I can do do clean it up myself? Me. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I did 
did want to hold your hand a little longer. It's like a it's windshield cool, wiper. It is a little bit. Oh. That is Can I get a razor? <laughs> no, you're not shaving my <laughs> arm, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> Okay, so this is the best interview I've ever, ever been a part of. I've heard. Go on. Yes. Um, Let's do this. How thing. did you decide who well, was going to fuck who? Oh, you know, when you're deciding who's <laughs> going to fuck who, there's a lot of variables involved. Uh huh. Josh has a very sensitive side. Yeah. But he's also yeah. got a very feisty side. I really? Mm -hmm. I hadn't noticed. <laughs> so, for me, that was a big decision. Is this a lot what it looked like when you guys were alone together? Yeah, hump when days. We, hump days about two well, straight guys that decide to fuck. Yes! Yeah. And I applaud that, so please make it happen. Go see Hump Day. Please. Who's your daddy? It's no good!